Hello and so welcome back everyone, and Wolf here with even more Mass Effect 2. When we last left off, we arrived here on the Citadel, and we're exploring the Sakura Ward, obviously of the Citadel itself. Walking around certain merchant stores, picking up a few upgrades, staring dreamily at others that we can't afford just yet because they cost so damn much. And we're on our way now to get up to the Presidium. I still want to find someone who can tell us whether or not the Presidium Lakes have any fish. And I'm sure someone around here tells us about it so we can actually tell those Krogan whether or not there are fish in the lakes or not. So let's have one last look, ar a look around before we use a rapid transit system taxi up to the Presidium. I'm trying to remember who tells us. For some reason I think it's an Asari. I don't think Captain Bailey can tell us, unless it's someone on the upper level. See, my memory's not that great, but for some reason it sticks into my head that an Asari tells us whether there are fish in the lakes or not. See if anyone has a name that jumps out at us. Doesn't seem so. Maybe they just won't tell us yet. Hmm. What can I do for you? You're a weapon store user, so you probably don't tell me. Just looking around. Or probably All can't right. tell me. I'm here if you change your mind. Keep thinking it's a souvenir, um like the cashier, or customer care assistant, whichever way you want to call them nowadays. Cashier is no longer a term normally used so much as a customer assistant, customer service assistant, or something like that. I sure used to tell us whether or not it was. Maybe I'm wrong. Friends, welcome to the Citadel. Accuser of classism. I'm just <laughs> Course. No, we won't be doing that. Hmm, maybe I'm wrong. Yes? How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined c -Sec so I could stay in one place and put down roots. You like life here on the Citadel? Uh, life here is good. Hell of a lot different than life back on Earth. I miss the food, mostly. You just can't get sockeye salmon here on the station. You ever get back there? Earth? Every couple of years. Less and less all the time. But when I finish my stint with c -Sec, there's a nice little place in the foothills I'm gonna retire to. Not that I'm retiring anytime soon. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Yeah, we'll just wait for that good old cliche that he was two days from retirement. Maybe we need to come back here later. Maybe the NPC that'll tell us about the fish in the Presidium Lakes isn't around yet. Oh well. Either way, let's... Uh, we're on level 27. The docks is the main entrance. We can't go to the factory district just yet. So yeah, let's go to the Presidium. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the voice of humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. Saren wasn't the one commanding the Geth. It was the Reaper, Sovereign. Ah, yes, Reapers. 
the immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting Do you just finger space. quote me? Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. <sighs> I accept your offer. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Yeah, I bit my tongue there. I really did. I suppose that was the politician and me trying to remain diplomatic when I could have told him to go shove it up their asses, which I was so tempted to do. <sighs> this game makes you want to go paragrade. But, yeah. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Counselor, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udina's never gotten over the fact that I got the Council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. What do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. 
It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. How long does it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. But I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. As much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line. That's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Yeah. We already know this. Good old Keith David. He doesn't play much of a major role in Mass Effect 2 compared to the original game. Or in the future game even, but still here to support us. Somewhat. Unfortunately, that's all you can do in the Presidium. There's nothing else really holding us here, I don't think. Unless we could find that person who would tell us about the Presidium fish. But, yeah. For here and now, let's just return to the Normandy. Emergency shielding. Research unlocked. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Every really? Do you have anything to say about Kasumi, I wonder? That Kasumi is an interesting addition to the crew. I can see why she's good at her work. She never reveals anything meaningful about herself. It's all on the surface. It'll be a challenge getting to know who she really is. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Uh, nothing new, it seems. Fair enough. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Let's check out these messages, then. From... Samesh Bhatia. Miss Odina offered to pass on a message for me. I wish to again express my thanks in your assistance in retrieving my wife's body. While nothing can ever banish the pain of losing Nerali, being able to see that her body was treated properly helped me more than you can imagine. Okay. He, yes, yeah, Samesh, we met him in the Presidium Embassies in Mass Effect 1. His wife was one of the squad members of Ashley Williams' team on Eden Prime, who was killed by the Geth during our first encounter with them as well. And they were keeping her body because of unusual energy wounds that she had received and 
the Alliance were wanting to do experiments to develop new defenses, but we asked them to release her body because it was the right thing to do. Emily Wong, title you're not dead, exclamation mark. You're alive, how come you broke whatever cover you've been under for two years but didn't offer an exclusive interview to your favourite reporter? Whenever you come up for air and are ready to talk, let me know. And from Nala Butler. Commander Shepard, my husband was one of the men service, 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 really hell. Start again. My husband was one of the men serving on Garrus's team. I don't know how much Garrus talked to you about what happened. I don't know the specifics myself. Only that my husband died in a trap set by that, by those bastard gangs. I know Garrus blames himself. He took every shot fired at his squad as a failure on his part, and it was clear when he sent me the message about my husband that he thinks it was his fault. My husband would never want that. He was proud of the work he did on Garrus's squad. He was taking back Omega from the gangs. He died fighting with honor. Please, if you can help him, help him stop blaming himself. And please don't tell him that I sent you this. Okay. See, I'm not sure there's anything new we can do here on the Normandy right now. The one thing we can probably look at is obviously the captain's cabin. And see Kasumi Goto, who's down here on deck three. Actually, in addition, we have those ingredients for Gardner here. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. <laughs> Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. Not a problem. Uh, Chakras, Garas. Kasumi is around here, I believe. Yep. This is where the alcohol is. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Sure thing. Let's have a look at your various um, items. Don't laugh. I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands. Their musty smell. It's relaxing. Keiji used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. That's my favorite piece, painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. Interesting. What about the statue here? I stole that on a dare, believe it or not. There was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. KG dared me to steal this. So I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. The Red Rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single red rose. It wasn't until I met Keiji that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. That painting has a special place in my heart. An art collector hired me to steal it. When I got there, the painting was gone. On the way out, I saw it being hauled off by another thief. I chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. That's how Keiji and I met. 
We never did turn it into our employers. <laughs> you are sentimental. But here's the alcohol. Which one's for amino acids and one's for dexter acids? One of these is probably going to knock me on my ass. Can I mix them? Well, maybe I can. Oh, now it's sizzling. Excellent. Well, this is awkward again. Uh, hmm. Oh, actually. Anything new? No, nothing new to talk about. Let's get up to the captain's cabin. We have some fish to feed after all. There is actually an automated fish feeder I think you can pick up somewhere. Can't remember where. Which will make this life slightly easier, but I think it costs so many credits. And I, n I may just not purchase it just to see if we can remember in this playthrough. And if we can't, well, so be it. Oh, hello. There he is. <laughs> I think we had some new armor to play with, didn't we? The helmet's fine, the chest piece is fine. Oh, new arms? Increases health by three. Or, come on. Increases spare ammo capacity. 10% isn't a great deal. Leg piece, shield strength, or... Health by 10%. Probably have the health, I guess. Uh, yeah, okay. That'll do. Our fish have been fed. Okay. So I think that's everything now on the Citadel. Uh, let's see if Joker has anything to say on Kasumi joining us. And after that, we can probably break this video. Commander. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. I guess not. So we have two more dossiers we can collect, the Warlord and the Convict, I think they were both known as. And we have a multitude of side missions available. A mission for Zaid Masani and a mission for Kasumi, as well as various projects Cerberus has asked us to look into. Let's have a look at our journal, actually. These are our assignments. Yeah, okay. When we come back, I think we'll do Project Firewalker. It's not related to any of the missions we're really doing now, but we do get our ground side explore, uh, exploratory vehicle. And I quite like the hammerhead, actually. So when we come back, we'll probably just mess around with Project Firewalker. It may take more than one video, I do think it is a chain quest that when we do one part, it leads to others. Between this video and the next, I may also run around the Omega cluster and basically use some of the uh, scanning technology and some of the probes to find some more resources. Can't decide yet. 
I will have to do it eventually though and I'm not looking forward to it but it's something I'll do off camera because of how repetitive and uninspiring it is. But uh, yeah, this of course has been Anthwolf playing Mass Effect 2. I hope you've all enjoyed and I hope you all take care and I'll see you for more next time. Until then, bye bye now.